velvet wrapped steel. Be so freaking for real. Let me at granny, okay? Let me do the final blow for granny. Hello friends and book babes. Welcome back to the channel and to part two of me reading the Throne of Glass series for the first time. We are continuing with Queen of Shadows. I took like a two week break in between the series to read some other things you know i'm really excited to finally get back into this world i have no idea what to expect i am excited i need to see more of dorian never thought i'd say that but i actually really need to see some more of him i really am liking that lysandra is back she was in the prequel and i i don't know i really even in the prequel i couldn't find myself hating her i don't know if the point was to hate her in the prequel and then maybe love her in this one i don't know i've just seen her a little bit so i don't know but like if that was the point it didn't work on me because i couldn't find myself hating her in the prequel so i was really excited when i when she showed up in the book honestly i couldn't really understand why selena hated her so much you can see like not liking her but the level of hate that she had for her i just i just never got it i never understood it i couldn't get behind it so i'm glad she's made an appearance i hope we see more of her and i really i really would love to see more of ansel she was in the prequel too i would love to see her i also want to see was his name lorkin i think i didn't say it in the part one video but i don't know something about his name makes me be like that's the one that's the one for me oh also caltaine like where has she been you know i hope we see more of her you know there's been some brief mention but she was like i don't even think they like mentioned her in era fire to be honest they might have mentioned her like once in passing but we never saw her or anything so hopefully we get more of her too i was excited to see her name <laughs> at least in this one there's some beef happening with kale and lynn and i can see both sides to it i'm assuming the beef is to make you not like cal that much but i don't know i'm kind of a cal apologist i guess you could say because he does have some good points not even gonna lie okay i just really love I love how much he loves Dorian, and I just, mm, you know. <laughs> the one thing I don't care for about Selena, and I've seen it in her character very often, is she doesn't necessarily care for or like characters that don't react in the way that she would react. You know, because her reasoning behind certain things will be like, oh, well, r well, Rowan and I, we did this. You know, we would have died for each other. You know, we would have done this. We would have done that. And so it's like, if you're not like that, then she thinks you're wrong and hates you or whatever. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, not everybody has to be that way. Not everyone has to live that way. Sometimes you do need to run. <laughs> I love a lead so much already <laughs> i'm just like i'm just like that animal for real a brax or whatever i don't know how to say his name but i'm just like him for real when he first sees a lead <laughs> his reaction and what manon says to him i'm not gonna read it because it kind of gives spoilers a little bit but yeah the end of page 169 what she says to him He's just like me for real <laughs> because I love her so much. Ugh. Guys, my biggest flex is loving Lysandra. The prequel could not make me hate her. And oh my god, she is that girl. I love Lysandra so much. I love uh, Nezerai, if that's how you say her name. I don't know. I love, I love so many of these characters that they added into this book. <laughs> I guess, I guess technically those are the only two like extra people that have been added into the series, in this book specifically. But I love them. Okay, they were they were a great addition. Okay, I love it. 
I love it so much. I love it. It's kind of panicking because I don't know what's going to happen. I have like 70 pages left, so I'm kind of nervous, but also excited because I've been in a book slump for a very while for a very while for a very for a very for a hot minute <laughs> this month i've been in a reading slump okay and so i'm excited that i'm excited <laughs> for this book <laughs> oh my gosh i love i love dorian and cal's friendship i said that in the last vlog but oh my gosh their friendship ah, i just love it so much and Oh my gosh, I am hoping that what is being said in page 572 is a misdirect because I don't think I can handle it. But for that to be the thing that makes him come out of it, like, <laughs> you came back. <laughs> oh my god. My brain is broken. <laughs> what chapter 78 i haven't even finished i just read like two paragraphs and i'm already d broken in that brain what <laughs> bruh that plot twist though i should have saw that coming <laughs> but how could i have but also i should have saw it coming you know but i'm glad the misdirect that i thought was a misdirect was indeed a misdirect Chapter 81, probably my favorite chapter of Manon so far, okay? How many times do I have to say I love Alid? I love Alid so much, and I can't wait to see her arc in the later books. I need to know more about Caltaine, okay? Because first of all, she was like in the first one. I don't even know if she was in the second one. I can't remember, but she was in the first one and then didn't show up uh, really much ever again until this book. <laughs> And I'm just like, girl, what's going on? I, I can't wait to know more about Caltaine too, you know? There's just so many. Ugh. The women characters in this series is superior to Akatar. I can say that for a fact already. I like the men of Akatar more than this series, but the women in this series, they're really doing it, okay? I'll tell you that right now. And then the, like, kind of found family aspect that might be happening is, like, really giving, you know? And just Dorian and Cal's friendship, I say it every single time, but their friendship is just... Ah, I just love them so much. Uh, so there's just... There's... Uh, I don't even know. I think so far I can say Throne of Glass is the superior series, but Akatar has the superior men at least so far maybe i still have like what three more books <laughs> three more books to go so maybe maybe that will change but that's my thoughts so far <sighs> i have 40 pages left so <laughs> to remember to repay her for a warm cloak in a cold Dungeon. <sighs> I can't do this. I can't do this. I was right about the first misdirect, okay? So I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this one is also like that, but I don't think it is. But I have hope. I still have hope that this one is also a misdirect. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. I always say that I am for deaths in series because it makes you like really feel it you know and it really like carries the story along but <laughs> i'm like please i don't want anyone in this series to die so yeah would i still be kind of like hmm, someone should have died at the end of the series yes but it better not be any of these people chapter 83 aelin slept for three days girl same <laughs> That was so real. She's so real for that. What is this scene right now <laughs> with Lysandra and Lorcan? It's so funny and also so gross. But like, why is this gross scene making me ship them? 
<laughs> like, what is happening? I also ship Lysandra with Adian for no apparent reason other than that one scene uh, when they like first met. Pretty much every time Lysandra meets anyone, their interaction makes me want to ship them. <laughs> so there's that. But I still, I still forget Fleetfoot is, exists. So when they mention Fleetfoot briefly, I'm like, oh yeah, you're still here. Is it weird that I'm low key shipping Dorian and Manon? I just ship everybody with everybody. Okay, I don't think it's that surprising at this point. But Manon and Dorian, I don't know. Queen of Shadows, we finally finished it. It took a full week, which is still pretty good, low-key. This is like a 650-page book, but finally finished her, and I'm excited. I'm excited to read the next one. I'm still confused as to who Tower of Dawn's POV is in. I guess I can look now. Let's go look. Bro, I knew it was about this person since book one. Since book one, I assumed it was about this person. Hmm. I feel like I'll be entertained. A lot of people don't like it, but I think a lot of people don't like it because they read this one, um, Empire of Storms first, and there's like a massive cliffhanger. And then they get into Tower of Dawn, and it's literally, it's the same, it's basically the same timeline, um, but in another person's POV. Like, another person's POV is just this book. <laughs> This whole book is one person's POV and everything that's happening in this book is the same time frame of what's happening in this one. And so I think a lot of people don't like Tower of Dawn because they read this one first, see the massive cliffhanger and then they're like, ugh, that's why a lot of people recommend tandem reading, which is what I'm going to do. Hopefully it goes by fast because I've never tandem read before in my life and I don't think I'm going to like it. So yeah. But I know tandem reading is going to be the way to go because if I don't, I know I'm going to hate one or the other books. So it is what it is. But Queen of Shadows, I really enjoyed this book. I definitely still think it could have been shorter. The fact that like two plot points took like 400 pages to get through. And both of those plot points were, like, kind of easy. <laughs> mm -mm. You know, like, not that great to me. I think it could have been, the, that two plot points could have been, like, 200 pages. And then the last, like, 150 could have been what it was. You know, so I think this book could have been, like, half as long. <laughs> to be honest with you, not even, like, 100 pages less. Like, literally... Instead of 650 pages, you should have been like 325. You should have been the same length as like the first book, I think. So because of that, I was still very much entertained. But like looking back on it, it's like, why were you so dang long? I will give this 4.5 stars. Now, it's time to do the tandem reading like the shatter me series how there's novellas in between in different people's povs i think sarah could have just done that made like a little novella in the person's pov or something it definitely doesn't need to be this thick i don't even know what's gonna happen in this book but i can guarantee you i don't think it needed to be this thick <laughs> and so i just don't get it okay and then i can't imagine reading this series while they were coming out because apparently there's a really big cliffhanger in this one i don't know what it is but the way it ends is why a lot of people hate having to read this book which is why i did the tandem reading instead so i wouldn't have to deal with trying to get through this and stuff but i can't imagine because this book came out first so i can't imagine whatever this cliffhanger is reading it waiting a year to find out what happens just to have to read this crap <laughs> and then wait another year to then finally know like what happened you know like that just sounds terrible there's been one 
POV of Lorcan, but with what he's doing, it's making me ship him and a lead. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to, but with what he's doing, if it doesn't end with him falling in love with her, then you better stop. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, I'm shipping that. I'm shipping Manon and Dorian. Don't know if they end up together or not. Don't know if I'm supposed to ship them. Dorian, Dorian has become my favorite, to be honest with you. If you've watched part one of this vlog, you know. I did not give a crap about him. I didn't hate him, but I didn't care, you know? And that's kind of just how all the men in this series has been. I don't care about them. I care about the women, okay? But so far, Dorian's POV is the only one I really care about um, for the male characters. So, and Lorcan. Just because Lorcan gives me Azrael vibes in the sense of like, I love Azrael, but also I don't know that much about Batman, you know, <laughs> and he doesn't talk that much and all those things, you know, but he's just kind of like the mysterious one, even though we kind of know his backstory as a kid and stuff. But I feel like Lorcan gives the same vibes as Azrael for me, just as well as Adian gives Lucian vibes for me. No one is given Reese or Cassian vibes. So, there's that. I don't think anyone can do it like them. Haven't even re read Silver Flames yet, but I'm pretty sure Reese and Cassian, like no one can top them. And if I were to tell you that I'm preferring Tower of Dawn over Empire Storm, then what? Then what? Fair. This is how far I am in to both of them, Tower of Dawn, Empire of Storm. So this could change very quickly. And so the fact that I've read like almost 500 pages in a week should be so great. But because I'm like nowhere close to finishing either book, it's like... I haven't done anything you know that's what it feels like and so I feel like that's another reason why it's taken me a while to get through the books because I think my goal was to finish both of these within a week from Memorial Day and we're a week from that now and this is where we are so I still even though I'm preferring Tower of Dawn I'm still stand by the fact that I think Sarah should have just made Tower of Dawn a novella or put the characters POV just in this one like why not she's known for writing thick ass books so i feel like adding another hundred pages to empire of storm wouldn't have been that big a deal like let's be so for real you know so yeah still a little salty about that but it's kind of crazy how in queen of shadows i shipped and loved nezri 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 nezrin whatever I loved Nezrin and Cal so much, and then in these books, I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I don't really care anymore. You know, do what you want with that couple. I don't really care. I love Irene so much. I love her so much. And I think that's the reason I have been preferring Tower of Dawn to Empire of Storm is because of Irene, okay? It's because of Irene and because of the character that we're following mainly in this, the arc that's happening, even though I didn't need a redemption arc from this character, like just the character development that's happening and like what the character is going through in this book, I just want to know more of, you know, I just want to eat that up. The whole, I found this was an issue with Akawar too, and it's that when the enemies to lovers couple got together, actually i got bored <laughs> i got bored of them and they became more like second characters like secondary characters not the main characters it felt like and i feel like that's kind of what's happening with this one love selena love aelin love rowan loving dorian still love dorian the most in this so far but yeah i don't like slow burns usually but when sarah j mass does it i really like it and i get what people mean by when they're like when the couple actually gets together i get bored that's how i feel about sarah j mass's people that are slow burns so yeah 
I think that's the reason. I can also appreciate with Sarah J Mass's stories how I'm not afraid to switch up the ships if that makes any sense because things with like to all the boys I loved before and like all those cliche YA trilogies that are around they always have the girl and the guy get together in the first book and then in the second book there's another guy that shows up that's clearly the better option but then she ends up with the first love interest and I've always been frustrated with that because it's like I just want <laughs> I want one to go against the odds and actually choose the better choice in the second book instead of staying with the first person and Sarah kind of does that you know like this isn't YA well this series kind of is YA but I kind of I just really like how she's willing to have different ships I am actually presentable and dressed because it is my birthday <laughs> when you're watching this it's not going to be my birthday anymore but I am 24 now so just thought y'all should know that, I guess. See how this goes, how long this series takes for me to finish. <laughs> it is my day off. I have today and tomorrow off. So I am determined to finish these two books on these days off, okay? And then Dylan is in trouble, had the audacity to post a three hour friends video. And now I wanna watch that instead, cause it's my day off, you know? I'll watch a three hour video of Dylan is in trouble why not you know so now i'm stressing lysandra is that girl i love lysandra so much i wish she had a pov everybody in the world has a pov in the series where's lysandra's the foot <laughs> page 340 avian is my man do i like his povs not necessarily but i like them when they're about you know who velvet wrapped steel be so freaking for real i get the most excited when the pov is a leads i don't think anyone's surprised at this point but i love a lead so much i just love her so much she is that girl okay she is that girl i don't care what anybody says if you're a a lead hater don't talk to me who, who hates Alid? I need to know, actually. Love Lorcan. Alid and Lorcan, they're my favorite right now, okay, in this book. Love Aelin, but whenever someone is talking about or gonna fight her, I'm like, yeah, you should beat her up. <laughs> like, it doesn't really make any sense, but I'm I'm like, yeah, Manon, you need to beat her ass. You know, like, I'd be rooting for Manon to beat Aelin's ass, you know? And when Lorcan be talking his talk, because he be talking a lot <laughs> a smack, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, go beat her up. Go beat her up. I will cheer you on. I just miss when Rowan would humble the crap out of his enemy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm tired of y'all being so in love to where you're just justifying everything she does wrong um because you're so in love with her you know like i kind of miss the rowan that was literally like punching people in the face <laughs> so yeah still love rowan but reese is still my number one no one is making me go feral the same level as reese did and that's that's basically it you know that fen re fenrin fenrin i don't know <laughs> i love him i love him so much my little baby i hope we get more of him oh i keep forgetting to mention especially in queen of shadows i felt this way about uh queen of shadows the most i've never wanted to beat up a granny so much in my life i need granny to go okay let me at granny okay let me do the final blow for granny all right, I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach over that woman. I was ready to fight that granny so hard. I was ready to fight. I was so ready to fight when I heard her story in Queen of Shadows and I never talked about it, but uh -uh. I'm still, I don't know if you are aware, but I'm still holding out hope for Caltaine, um, which might make me Delulu, but yeah i love the found family also aspect of it like i love it there was a scene where literally i think his name 
Fen Rin Fen whatever his name is was literally injured, and they started like pl- pl- placing bets on like if Rowan will like hit the target correctly or not while this man is like bleeding to get death. It was so funny, um, <laughs> but I loved it, and I love this found family. But can we talk about the fact that literally they <laughs> literally were like. None of them said anything else even as they later ate cold porridge for breakfast. The cook, it seemed, had not made it through the night. So sad, right? The the cook. So sad for you. But also, you're really telling me none of y'all can heat up porridge? Like what? Like y'all are that bad at cooking you can't even... Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Okay. <laughs> this is so cute. It doesn't need to be as cute as I'm making it seem, but no context. But Ash continued to fall, clumping on Elid's silky night dark hair. He gently picked out a bit, then put a shield over her to keep it from landing on her again. <sighs> Why is that so cute? Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, Lorcan's POV, Lorcan and Elid's POV snaps so hard, okay? Reading you one line, no context. <laughs> Perhaps they were the unlucky ones for not holding out for something better. <laughs> Lord Cans! POV. That's all I have to say, okay? I'll read, I'll read again. I don't care. I'll read again. <laughs> Lorcan had been born from and gifted with darkness. Returning to it was not a difficult task, but letting that glimmering lovely light before him die out in his ancient bitter bones, he could not accept it. I gotta go. Oh my god, even more. <laughs> like right after what I just read. Still, she had offered him a glimpse of peace in the time he'd known her. She had offered him a home. They're my favorite. It's all about Lorcan and a lead for me. Yeah! You know what? Screw everything I said. Rowan is the man. Okay, he is. He's not Lorcan, but he is the man. Okay, he is. He's still the same man from 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 what the what the frick? Uh, Arrow Fire. <laughs> he's still the man. There's too many books in this freaking series. Okay. <sighs> How is this gonna work? How how are you gonna do this? If you harm them, it will be considered an act of war. I mean, aren't they already at war though? Like what kind of threat is that, Loki? <laughs> like this, this war, like it's already upon us. What's another one, you know? You know, I need to just learn to shut up. <laughs> because right after that, right after that, it explains why he said that so i just need to shut up sometimes <laughs> aelin seeing a lead <laughs> this is so uh, why am i getting so emotional already <laughs> i haven't even read the full scene i need to calm down <sighs> i am starting my period soon so don't mind me <laughs> I'm just gonna be dramatic and that's just how you're gonna have to deal with me also I'm wearing Akatar merch I bought this on Etsy isn't it cute I should have gotten a bigger size but it's okay I'm still not done with the scene because I keep just wanting to cry <laughs> I can't do this <laughs> Why did I forget about this? Why did I forget about this reunion? Why? Why did I forget Manon was even there? <laughs> like, where is it? Ali tried not to cringe at the viciousness, especially when Manon smiled in wicked delight. <laughs> I don't know why that really got me, but it did. Okay, so I've made it to the part of the reading where now I just finish the rest of this book and then I just finish the rest of this book. 
I have like 80 pages left for each. And I know that pretty much this whole time I've been tandem reading, I've been like, I just want to get it over with. I'm tired. I just want to be done. And now I'm like avoiding it because now I'm like, I'm almost done and then I'll have one more book left and then this series is just over, you know? And then also the cliffhanger. Everyone talks about this cliffhanger, so now I'm like so scared. If you know who dies, I'm a riot. I will riot. My boy being stupid out here for love. OMG, I was wondering if this person would show up again too. <laughs> done. <laughs> okay so that ending was insane but I'm not even gonna lie I did think that that would happen for a second and then I was like no that wouldn't happen that probably won't happen because like I think Sarah's done something like that before not as grotesque this was grotesque and just flat out mean and I felt so bad but doing that to <sighs> just the trauma that was invoked again <laughs> was just so upsetting. The way it ended, I've seen Sarah do something similar to that. For a second, I was like, maybe that's going to happen. Maybe that's what's going to happen. And then I was like, no, why would that happen? Because then she would be doing the same thing again, right? But it did kind of happen, which is why I wasn't that shocked. Um, honestly, I'm the most shocked with what the plan was for Lysandra. I was like, what? <laughs> so I'm most shocked about that. I knew, I knew Manon would come through in what she did. What Deanna, what she says, I knew what that meant. Like I knew the second she said it, I knew what that meant. So none of this was really shocking to me other than what Lysandra has to do <laughs> this is probably the most shocking part of it but, and so i wasn't having crazy reactions and that also could stem from the fact that everyone hypes up how crazy this cliffhanger is and so i might have just been expecting a lot from it so yeah that's why i didn't really feel much of a reaction because i didn't really have many other than what when it was revealed for the plan with Lysandra, the ending line, you know, that reveal. Loved that. But it, again, it's really similar to another book that I've read from Sarah. So this one's just a lot more like grotesque and like traumatic for sure. Okay. But the similar themes, similar themes, I guess you could say. I do think this one so far is the best book. Could have been a little bit shorter, but I do think it is the best one so far. My Lorcan and Alid Heart. Yeah, my Lysandra and Aiden Heart. <laughs> just my my Rowan and Selena Heart. Like everything is just <laughs> so much is happening. But Aelin is that girl, okay? You know. I talk about how I like when there's pushback for her. And I still do. And for good reason, because Homegirl doesn't tell anybody anything. <laughs> but Homegirl really be coming through, okay? I have to say that. I have to say that. And I can only hope that there is a loophole for Kingdom of Ash. So, I didn't even give it the rating. I think I would give this a 4.75 stars. I think the process of tandem reading kind of like maybe be like mm, a little bit like if I only read this book straight through I might have given it a five to be honest but the experience made me go to a seven or hello a 4.75 star so if we have to do this all again I'm gonna be so upset bro how is this gonna end what I'm so confused I need I need to stop forgetting that homegirl knows how to fight okay I need to stop I need to stop doing that and I need to put some respect on her name, okay? I need to, I, how did I forget that she knows how to fight? <laughs> she, she made it. When did she get here, girl? Damn. Yeah, you are really late. <laughs> they made it seem like the cost 
would affect her more. But honestly, it feels like the cost is going to affect him. Anyways, they'll die together at some point. Like, that sounds great to me. <laughs> Done! We did it. I love the couple so much in this one. I love both of the couples in this one so much, but I've talked about them a lot. Um, so you know who I'm talking about, but <laughs> I love them so much. Oh my God. I don't know what to do with myself. It's time. It's time. It's time for, it's time for, for it, <laughs> for, for Kingdom of Ash now. I, ne I feel like I, I would never get to this point, you know? All of the chapters crossed out. <laughs> we're done. Okay. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're on Kingdom of Ash now. I'm trying to crochet a book sleeve big enough for this heifer. Um, but like, look how thick this heifer is. Like, hold on. Let's try not to spoil it for myself. Get to the acknowledgments. This is, this is how you try to not spoil things for yourself. You just go to the end, see the acknowledgments. There's the acknowledgments. I'm not even going to read whatever's on this page. Here's acknowledgments. Going to go straight to the last page. 980 pages is this book. Sarah. Sarah. You know what? You should have just bumped it, the 20, so it could be a thousand flat. Now I'm mad at you. Cause because why didn't you just why didn't you just go for the full thousand? You should have full sended at that point. I got beef with you, Sarah. Eight hundred not even eight hundred a thousand pages? Are you shitting my dick right now? What do you mean? What do you mean a thousand pages? What could possibly be in here that it needed to be a thousand pages? I will bet my left kidney that it does not have to be a thousand pages okay but anyways back to tower of dawn i really enjoyed it as you guys know um hated tandem reading as you guys know i would probably give this book a four star solid four star i liked it a lot i do definitely think it could have definitely only been like 300 pages max i think it could have been the exact same length as the prequel like this book is giving what the prequel gave where it was like you should definitely read this but also it might be a little bit annoying to have to read it. I asked Anna if she would recommend Tandem Reading as someone that read it while it was being published and she said she does because Tandem Reading is kind of helping her brain process the fact that what's happening in here is happening at the exact same time as Empire Storm. I could have read Empire Storm and then Tower of Dawn, but I do think that I would have felt the same way I felt when I was reading um, the prequel after Crown of Midnight, because the ending of Crown of Midnight made me really intrigued with the story. And so then going into the prequel made me be like, can we hurry up? Cause I want to get to Era Fire, you know? And so I feel like even though the cliffhanger for Empire Storm didn't make me go absolutely feral to read the next book, I do think in the midst of reading this 700 page book, I would definitely start to be like, can we get on with it so I can get to the next book? You know what I mean? So yeah, up to you. I, de I know there are some people that will literally skip Tower of Dawn go to Kingdom of Ash and then go back into Tower of Dawn and I definitely wouldn't recommend that because there are a lot of things that get revealed that help further the plot in this book that is not revealed in Empire of Storm. You wouldn't expect because you would expect this book to be pure character arc which it is but there are like at least three big things that get revealed for the story itself. So I wouldn't skip this one before going into Kingdom of Ash. So it's really up to you if you want to tandem read or if you want to risk it and read Tower of Dawn after Empire Storm. But 
yep i'm gonna go ahead and give this one four stars and now we're at the end bro this is almost a thousand pages i don't know how long this is gonna take me <sighs> but anyways i don't even know how long this video is gonna be i don't know if i'm gonna have to do a part three Ugh, this is a lot <laughs>